Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están, mis amores? ¿Cómo están haciendo? ¿Cómo les fue el Thanksgiving? ¿Y cómo les está yendo este eh, día de viernes? Now, it's Friday here. How are you doing? How was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was yesterday. Um, hope you're having a good morning. So, y'all, I'm back with another video. I barely rolled out of bed. Hence, my robe. And I'm already getting hit outside the head with another uh, breaking news. Okay, you know we can't walk around with dry lips, y'all. <laughs> I'm already getting hit outside the head with breaking news. Okay, so breaking news on the lawsuits against PDD. I don't even know what to call them. Breaking news against the lawsuits. If y'all don't know, me and my hot drinks are like this, okay? Today, I st it's still vitamins, but it's more of a strawberry taste. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I digress. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what, girl? Guess what? Okay, this man, P. Diddy, has gotten sued again. He got himself sued last night while I was sleeping. So I don't even get the day after Thanksgiving, y'all. The day after Thanksgiving, here I am, rolling out of bed, put on my robe. I got to get on camera because you got yourself sued while I was sleeping. So this is the third lawsuit, and I believe this is actually a criminal lawsuit. And so if y'all don't know, what the way the system works and the way the process works is the individuals will serve you first. If, if the people that want to that want to sue you will have to get you served first. So you know about the lawsuit. So a lot of times what's happening is discussions are already happening on the back end. And so if the other person is reluctant to settle or if they're not able to figure something out, that's when um, the person that's suing can decide, okay, you know what? This is a waste of my time. I'm going to go ahead and file, officially file the lawsuit and like, well, they've already filed the lawsuit, but I'm going to go ahead and take the next steps to move forward in the process, go to discovery, things of that nature. So that's, it's going to be the same process that has been happening. So that means behind the scenes for Diddy, he's been getting um, who knows how many people that he's had to pay out thus far, but he's been having to go back and forth with people that are probably coming out saying, you did this to me, I'm going to need some compensation. It's the least you could do. Well, apparently he didn't want to settle with this particular person and he caught himself another lawsuit. So let's take a look, y'all. Hi, hi, hi. I can't get a break, but I'm so, you know what? I am so happy. It's like the best Thanksgiving gift. It's the best Thanksgiving gift like ever. Like he needs to be done with S Sean Diddy, whatever your name is. He uh, he's so ugly. I can't even get over how ugly this guy is. Like literally like just physically the most ugly, unattractive person I've ever seen. Okay. No, not ever, but definitely one of the most <laughs> <laughs> ugly, unattractive person I've ever seen. Y'all? <laughs> Sean Diddy Combs faces another lawsuit accused of essay and revenge pornography. I don't know if YouTube allows that word. So we're going to call it RP. Rest in peace, Diddy. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Rest in peace, Diddy's career. Okay. Anyway. Here you have it. 
He's been sued again. By the way, y'all, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm as well. I've been that it helps and it's helpful. Um, and especially if you are an IPGG independent pretty girly, go ahead and subscribe, join the group. I would love to have you. All right. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what your opinion is. Y'all, I rolled out of bed. I have, I'm telling you, I've never made this many videos in one, <laughs> in one week. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Um, Sean Diddy Combs faces another lawsuit accused of S.A. and R.P., a.k.a. R.I.P., to anything that is and is and was related to Sean Diddy. They put it in <laughs> Diddy Combs. <laughs> look how ugly, man. What an ugly guy. Okay. So, according to CNN, Sean Diddy Combs was hit with a second lawsuit in as many weeks, in as many weeks, accusing him of drugging and sexual, drugging and essaying a woman who claims she was also victim of alleged RP by the music artist. Huh? Like this guy's a monster. Like, it's like, why is he still walking around free again? This is, we should be making an executive example out of this animal. The civil lawsuit filed under the New York Adult Survivors Act means Combs and, and his companies. Yeah, because, so it's three. The first, it started with Cassie. Cassie got paid out. She's good. And she did her job. She did her role. Trend setter. Justice um, administrator. That's what I, that's what her name needs to be. Trend setter. Justice administrator. I wish I could come up with something more catchy for the word administrator. Justice. Y'all leave it in a comment below. Just Justice goddess. <laughs> The amount of bravery it must have taken for her to actually pull the trigger on that, y'all. And they must have been trying to play her and do her funny and dirty behind the scenes because they get served first. Didi and his team will get served paperwork first. So they knew. And from what I heard, they were, they've were they been going back and forth for six months before she actually officially filed. I'm surprised nothing happened to her in, in that time. I, I don't know how she managed to literally stay safe in that time period. I don't know how she managed to stay safe because allegedly Didi has, is known for deleting people. So anyway, trend set up. Um, and also the New York Adult Survivors Act, why, like, it doesn't make sense, like, so this is how you know we truly, really live in a patriarchy. Why is there a time limit on someone filing a lawsuit against the person that essayed them? Why is there a time limit on that? Does that even make sense? Like, what? That's how you know we really live in a patriarchy. This stupidity of a system that males created out of their share ignorance, stupidity, and animalistic tendencies and behaviors. So they were like talking to each other and saying, hey, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure that you don't get caught before the time frame, the time frame expires. So we'll put a time frame here. So technically you can kind of slide and do whatever you want. Why is there a time frame on that? Can someone help me understand? Y'all, I can't. But alas, there is a time frame, and what they did was they reopened it for an additional year, which is not nearly long enough because a lot of people, because of Cassie, are just now hearing about the fact that this was done in the first place, myself included. 
So the, 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 the purpose of there being a time limit on it, I'm confused. And now they opened it up. And so now I'm thinking to myself, okay, what are the elites trying to distract us from? Because that's what they do. And it, it kind of works. And that kind of does work. They try to distract us from the bigger, major, uh, uh, not even major, because this is really, really bad. I don't think that they saw this coming, <laughs> particularly. But they try to distract us from other worldwide issues through entertainment. But I don't know that they saw this coming particularly. Who knows what these rich people do, but probably not. Probably didn't see this coming. Well, I know Didi. I know Didi. Didi didn't see this coming. So the civil suit filed in New York Supreme Court demands a trial by jury and seeks damages. Plaintiff brings suit against defendants to re to redress the substantial and lifetime injuries she has suffered as a result of being drugged, essayed, and abused and being the victim of RP that Sean Combs or P. Diddy created and distributed. The suit filed in New York Supreme Court stated, a spokesperson for Combs says the allegations are made up and not cre not credible sir this is like the third person so that the first one was cassie the second one um was his right hand man getting sued for essay and a lot of terrible other ter terrible things i made a video on that too so after this video if you haven't gotten caught up on that go watch that video um so his right hand person got sued but then did he got sued too his whole company they sued and went for his company because they had hired that lady was working for them right she started working for them and they started abusing her as essay and all type of things were in our where and are in that lawsuit so she has filed lawsuits and so this is the third one and two of them are sticking we're moving forward with with two because cassie was cassie was the trendsetter she got settled that was probably the biggest one like i wish i wish because she probably had she probably has everything that would not only take this guy down but the rest of the hollywood i i, I just my feeling my gut instinct is like the whole hollywood would come down burned crashed done because one thing leads to another one question leads to another you know and it would be there would be politicians that would have to respond to stuff that they've been doing corporate executives i'm telling you that they had to pay her out they had to do it they had to do it they didn't have a choice um okay so made up and not credible yeah right so goodbye Adding the move is purely a money grab, money grab. Sir, you about to have no money, okay? Money grab, you're right. This last minute lawsuit is an example of how a well-intentioned law can be turned on its head, the spokesperson said. You know, this spokesperson, the lawyers, these lawyers, banking, they are banking, you know, they're, ha they're happy for his misfortune too. They're like, sweet. Let's let's go ahead and log these hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Combs never as, um, assaulted her, and she implicates companies that did not exist. It continues. A representative for Bad Boy Entertainment was not immediately available for comment. Of course, of course, they weren't available for comment. Sir, goodbye. Sir, goodbye. The alleged victim, Joey Dickerson. Dickerson Neil, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know if it's Joey or Joy. I'm gonna go with Joy. Um, was a was a Syracos Syracos man Syracos. How do you say that name? The name of that university university student at the time of the 1991 incident and had previously appeared with Combs in a few video clips of a music video. The suit alleged she agreed to a dinner at a Harlem restaurant reluctantly with Combs while on school break for the holidays in January when he pushed her to keep 
him company while he attended to a few things in the city. The suit alleges during their date, he intentionally drugged her, resulting in her being in a physical state where she could not independently stand or walk. This is consistent with everyone else that's been speaking out against PDD. Consistent reporting, consistent behavior. Cassie reported the same thing. That she was, that he would drug her out of her mind and she'd be like, what's going on? Not even able to distinguish reality from fantasy. The second victim, um, actually not victim, survivor. The second survivor reported the same thing, that they would drug her and, uh, and abuse her and take advantage of her. Now we, have, now we have the third person, and he wants to tell us like the public is stupid. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's just the money grab, sir. If it's a if it's a money grab, you're about to spend a lot of money. <laughs> because it, see, it sounds to me like it's based off of real events and truth. Allegedly, I have to say the allegedly, but I completely 100% believe it. There is no reason to not believe it. You are a terrible person. You're not even a person. You're like a, a demon, like Satan reincarnation. No human being could have the Warrenthal for this. There's no way. There's no way. In one of my videos that I did, I was thinking, I, you know, that's how I know, like, the, if, the limitations of even my own mind. Even though I know this background about Didi, I know his the background, his background, and the things that this animal is capable of. I made that video, and at the beginning of the video, I was thinking, and I said, you know, they must have offered her nine figures, Cassie. They must have offered Cassie nine figures. There's no other reason or that she would settle this case. There's no other reason. Come to find out in that same video, he threatened her family. He threatened her husband. He threatened to off them. He threatened to delete them. I said to myself, self, how did I not even think about the fact that that was probably what happened? Because my mind couldn't even, doesn't even naturally, my mind can't go there. It doesn't go, like the way my mind functions na like naturally, that is not where it goes. Even knowing the background of this animal. So I said to myself, self, goodness gracious. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you. While at dinner, she left to use the restroom and left her drink unattended. It is alleged in the suit. First of all, my recommendation, don't go out with no males. Why are you going out with a male? Leave them alone. That's always my first recommendation. But here in the Independent Pretty Girly group, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like the video. We understand the effects that the patriarchy has had and can have and we understand that it could take several years to break out of that conditioning just as long as you're making progress in fully decentering males this is the group for you but you have to be making actual progress, starting with this. Why are you going out with any male? At, first of all, don't go out with them at night, but why are you going out with any male and leaving your drink with them unattended? Why are you even having a drink with them? Girl, you better order water. <laughs> I wouldn't even order a drink. I'd be too scared to drink. Okay, I wouldn't even order water. I wouldn't order nothing. <laughs> Don't order no soup because they could put it in the soup. 
Don't leave your food and your drink unattended with nobody, male or female, but especially not males. And I say male or female because you never know if the female that you're hanging with is a pikmisha. You never know if she's a pikmisha working for the male. You got to be careful with those pikmishas. Don't leave your drink unattended with no male. Males, these males are animals. In the car, the suit alleges she took a puff of a blunt. Oh, not a blunt. <laughs> a puff of a blunt. Y'all get it? PDD. The P starts for puff, I think. I think. <laughs> In the car, the suit alleges she took a puff of a blunt under pressure from Combs, and from that point on, Plantis' memory is incomplete. Jesus Christ. So they probably put that stuff in whatever the blunt, because you can put it in the in the in the in the substance of whatever is being smoked. So you got to be really careful. That's actually very, very serious. Animal. She, you, do you know how strong that drug has to be for you to not even have a recollection? That's the same thing. What's his name did? He, the one that they sent to jail, um, the old, old, old black guy uh, that was on the show. He was on the show. Uh, I can't even remember his name anymore. That he was giving women drugs that would knock them out, put them to sleep, and then he would abuse them. As say them. I guess it's a good thing that you know my my brain and my mind automatically survival mode. Like let's discard that name quickly. Okay. Anyway, driving first to a music studio where she could not get out of the car, Combs proceeded to place to a place he was staying to essay her. The suit alleges because she had been drugged. Plaintiff lacked the physical ability or mental capacity to fend Combs off. The suit alleges Combs video recorded the essay, and days later, a male friend revealed to Dickerson he had viewed it. Goodness. Horrified, Miss Dickerson asked how many others saw it, to which she to which he responded, everyone. Thereafter, Dickerson alleges her life went into tailspin. She was admitted to the hospital for severe depression and SI, the suit claims. That is what that does. When someone abuses you and your boundaries and your body in that way, sends you into a very severe depression that oftentimes results in SI as well. It's like, think of it as the cruelest form of internal hate that you could possibly feel. Right. According to the suit, Dickerson filed police reports at unspecified agencies in New York and New Jersey and spoke to several prosecutors hoping to press charges and was told her allegations would need to be corroborated. That's why they didn't pay her off. They probably feel like she doesn't have enough proof. But, I, you know, I would... You, with his history, you would think that he would pay her off because now that she's filed this, there's no telling what else is going to come up. There's no telling what else is going to come up. And in the court of public opinion, he's done for. Done for. So this is like, why do you even think that you can do this and not pay this lady off regardless of whether or not you feel like she has enough against you, enough actual evidence against you? Your reputation is already in the trash. It's it's non-existent. You think you'd be doing everything humanly possible to keep another um, piece of the puzzle from falling directly on top of your head. The accuser was trying to gain a foothold in the music industry working as a 
location scout for an industry cameraman, and despite her allegations of emo emotional pain, continued to work in the music industry at a DJ management company after the incident, the suit states. I don't understand why people, it's like, you know, there's so many people, I say it in all my videos, don't go to Hollywood. If you wanna be famous, think twice. At least I know with YouTube, I don't think I'll ever be, it's not ever going to be like a, a DD or a, I ain't ever going to have to worry about that. <laughs> it's not worth it. I don't understand why the, don't make the trade. It is not a trade. Literally, it's not a trade. You're literally, all you're doing is enslaving yourself. You won't be able to enjoy any of that money. Not as a woman, you won't. Not as a woman, you won't. All women stay away from these industries. Stay away from that place. Stay away from Hollywood. Women, stay away. You will not be able to enjoy that money. It will not happen. There are too many males. And not only that, they're all gay. So I still don't understand why they keep harassing women over there. You gay. What's the issue? Stand in who you are, be honest with people, and stop trying to parade around women because we are the only thing, or you feel like we're the only thing that validates you and gives you, gives you value. But yet you want to essay and abuse us and try to lie to us, even though you can't do without us. What is the problem? Women, stay away from this place, especially if you're young. If you're in it's your if you're a teenager, if you're in your 20s, you have no business in Hollywood. No business. Okay. She eventually left as Combs star continued Combs as Combs star continued to rise and his presence was inescapable according to the suit. So he continued to gain fame, I guess. It was the filing of the lawsuit about his abuse of Cassie Ventura on November 16, 2023, that forced her to face his assault again. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Cassie, for doing that. Ventura, former girlfriend of Combs, accused the rapper and producer of years of essay, same thing. That's what, I, isn't that what I just told y'all? Same thing that she's saying here. Or, or, uh, grape and trafficking in a suit Combs said was resolved amicably one day after the filing. He is, I don't know what he's smoking or what he's using, but I made another video because recently, not even like a day ago, Cassie's husband spoke out and told us that this animal threatened Cassie's children or, or child and threatened his life, threatened both their lives, which is the reason why they settled so quickly. Now he's talking about amicably like this. I don't have the words to describe this monster. Combs representative at the time said it was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. <laughs> that was the fastest settlement I've ever seen in the history of settlements. Literally, they settled within 24 hours of the lawsuit filing. And does not in any way undermine his flat out denial of the claims. Sir, you are done. Okay, you're done. Your time's up. These rich people, you, they're, they are going to throw you under the bus because you have now become a liability to the nonsense that they do over there. So they will get rid of you. You thought you were having fun. You thought you were safe. You thought this was a game. You're gone. Because you have now become too much of a liability for what they're doing over there. I don't even know. Hollywood needs to be taken down. If you still believe in celebrities in today's day and age where we can actually see 
what's actually going on and who these people actually are. Even Beyonce and Jay-Z stuff has come out about them, that they're mean, especially in connection with Aaliyah and her death. Stay away. These people are not it. If you like their music, first of all, you need to listen to those lyrics and make sure that you're not taking in junk into your system. Because this rap music that they're putting out nowadays, I don't even know. The older I get, the more it sounds like poop to me. Like literally poop coming out of someone's mouth. There's an episode of South Park and I thought, and I was laughing while watching that episode. I thought it was so funny. And it turns out that it's a real phenomenon because that's what happened to me. When I was in my 20s, I was like, do, 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 all this rap music. Thank goodness I had education to push back against the idiocracy that they were trying to feed me through entertainment and music. So you need to make sure that the words that you're listening to aren't feeding your Pikmisha vibes. Let me cater to you. You know, that was Beyonce. Let me, I still love that song, Cater to You. Now I'm like, why can't they cater to me? <laughs> it's encouraging you to be Pick Misha big time. So you got to be careful what you're listening to, what you're supporting with your funds, what you're supporting with your money, because how do we, how do they build culture? How do they build society's beliefs? It is through entertainment. It's through what they show the mass public, what they have us listening to, what they promote so that the mass can listen to. So all this rap music, shake your butt, blah, 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 blah. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Choose your entertainment sources wisely. And if you enjoy something, understand and realize the difference between entertainment and real life. Okay? Males don't have that discernment. They don't have the capacity to even make that distinguishment. So stay away from Hollywood. I don't, it's not a good idea. It, I would not, it just doesn't like, and when it comes to celebrities, we need to eradicate even the word celebrity. No one cares because these people are gross. We have social media now. We have YouTube now. We know what y'all doing over there. Didi, Usher, we know what all of y'all doing is disgusting. You're worse. You're not even as good as the us, regular people, the general public. You're literally like way down in the dirt low. So why would we look up to you as though, no, no. Anyways, y'all, let me know what you think about this. <sighs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. But let me know what you think about this. Comment below, subscribe, like the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.